Hey folks, welcome back to Dominions. This is Dominion 6 and I'm playing as Early Age Ermor. Okay, in the last episode we had a we had a battle here in Icton, but our <laughs> our heroic centurion Maximus here actually decided to do a runner. So um we are gonna try to put his army back together. We can actually pick up this equity to the sacred shroud as well that actually got left here. Um okay. I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put up a I'm probably going to put a, a fort here in Faircliff because we can get one up there without interfering with anything else. Uh, then I'm probably going to put one here in Belagor and we are already getting one up in Barra and probably one in Dragonport as well. That's where I'm planning on putting my first bunch of forts. So... Would this be a good place? No, no, no. We want it. We want one in Belagor, I think. Um, yeah, I think so because getting a getting a fort up here. I mean, we don't have to. I suppose we could, if we didn't mind waiting. You know, we'd only have one commander point basically. So to get mages out, it'd take it two. You know, one every two turns if we didn't have a fort. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the idea. I think I might actually send Daos here. I've now thought about it a little bit more. Um, I'll. I think I'm going to send him to help out this battle here. Yeah, because I, I don't think those guys are enough to take out the uh, these Amazons. They might be, actually. Yeah, maybe they are. Um, either way, I want to... I, I need my... I need what's-his-name here, uh, Finfag, to grab these guys. Now, he's not a particularly good leader. So... We, yeah, I think we'll move Maximus back here. I and mean, he's gonna actually going to come and pick these guys up. Uh, the rest of the troops that he left. Yeah, in that case, let's leave. Let's just actually leave these guys here. We'll leave Finfag. Finfag can go and... Yeah, he can pick up some troops, whatever these guys were. Um, and we'll also... We can also recruit some more Slingers. How many Slingers have we got? Okay, that would be enough to just to get a kind of handful of them. Yeah, we'll send Thaos that way, and then we'll we'll double in on Belagor here. Probably don't need to attack with both, but there are made there are probably mages there. Yeah, I'll think about it in the next turn. Uh, we've we've got a turn to figure it out. Um, meanwhile, in Ermor, we probably want to get another party up. Okay, we've got an Augur Elder coming up. Yeah, these are equitates to the sacred shroud. Just make sure I'm not getting the equitates, <laughs> the standard one, because that would be a problem. Okay, yeah, we're just going to go and grab a bunch more of those guys. Okay, Remus here. Oh, look what we've got. There are some uh, Muspel Giants here. It looks like he's expanding down here with Muspel Giants. That's interesting. Let's see what we can find in these woods. And uh, Titus is going to keep on moving down into Debrithia here. And Apuleius, he is going to put up a, uh, maybe we don't need to put a temple up yet. He can't afford to anyway. Yep, he can just stay here. Have him, uh, um, so basically you can only have a maximum of 10 Dominion score. And we've actually got 9 Dominion strength now. Uh, we started with 8. Uh, we've got nine converted provinces, but uh, yeah, we've got two temples. Now, if, once we get five temples, we can jump up to uh, Dominion Strength 9. Um, looks like we've got nine in here, though. How does that happen? Okay. I thought our maximum was eight so far, but we've got nine there. I don't know if that's... I can't remember why that might be working. It might be something to do with the profit being there, maybe. Um, been a while since I've played... Okay, he wants to be moving down here now to preach, and uh, we've actually got maximum dominion score that we can get here. Yeah, maybe I'll get him preaching up here too. Okay, let's end the turn. Okay, well, that's the first time I've played a game of dominions where I've not had any messages in a turn, I think. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before. Uh, okay, we've got a we've got our first auger, Tarchon. Uh, Tarchon is death three. That's really, really good. Okay, so he managed to get the death random. Uh, he's a fortune teller as always. 
Okay. I can't forge any items yet. Um, I think we'll have him... Yeah, let's have him searching. I think we'll have him sight searching. One. Yeah, we'll go down. We'll, by the t oh, look at what we've seen. 70 right enemy units. May, uh, the army consists of mainly Amazons and Pegasus riders. It's like there's quite a lot of Pegasus riders. I think I made the right choice here, attacking him with both of these armies. And that was probably probably the right thing to do. Okay, let's get these levees out there and we'll put the Hastati in. Have that guy guarding. We'll have the Equitate of the Sacred Shroud guarding. Okay, and... There we are. Sorry, I just wanted to... That, that was annoying me. <laughs> okay, we're going to have the Prinkipes on the front line. We'll have the... I think the Prinkipes have actually got good morale anyway, so we'll give the... We'll put the Banner Bearer with the... Um, with the Hastati. How many of these guys have we got? Could probably, uh, I don't know. We might be able to have four units. The only problem is you do get a morale penalty when you go over your, your you know, you go over your limit. Maybe I'll just keep the keep these guys here. Okay. Good folks, just going to grab these these troops. Might actually have him search, and he can. Ah, oh, okay. He doesn't need to preach. Yeah, that's fine. He's going to search for sites. If I can move back. Okay. We're in Thing Woods. <laughs> oh, look at this. So Muspelheim's actually gone. He's taken a quite a lot of territory down in this direction. Uh, okay. Do we attack in with this? I think we do. Maybe I, I might just mix in these levees with the Hastati. Yeah, that's not going to cause them a problem, I don't think. So we'll have the print we'll have the print pays coming in behind. I uh, will have the slingers in skirmish formation and they can just fire. And they're gonna be firing at archers. Now these Amazons are archers. Yeah, that might not be the best idea actually. Maybe we have them firing at cavalry. Have them sort of at the back. We also need to, we do need some troops at the back as well. Maybe we have the Prinkipes at the back in a block. And then have these guys at the front. So, uh, mind you, I, if I remember right, the Amazons, they don't tend to fly and hit rear. They tend to move forwards, I think. <laughs> okay, here's, here's what we do. So, we're going to anticipate that happening. Uh, we'll have the Prinkipes like this. And um, we'll have the Slingers on fire. Let's fire closest. Okay, yeah, it looks like we've got these ones to just be on fire. Um, I think we'll have them on hold and fire. Okay. Okay, they're, they're going to move into Belagor here. Um, Theos is going to come in here as well. Th just because I think this is going to be a fairly easy battle, to be honest. But, well, it's not going to be easy. But we've got plenty of Equitates. Of the sake, uh, Sacred Shell. We'll get these guys attacking rear. There we are. Okay. Just make sure he is casting spells. Yeah, that's fine. So he's going to go do one, two. He probably needs to be about here, look. So he'll do the Bless... Then he'll do another bless, and as they they run forward, he'll do a third bless and catch, yeah, the uh, the last the last three. All right. Um, yeah, maybe I'll move this guy in. Actually, we could he could just cast spells as well, so have him bless these guys too. It means he doesn't need to be he doesn't need to be out of range. Um, and then we because we're gonna we, he's gonna want to be there anyway because we're gonna want to put up a temple next turn. All right. Let's see how many uh, provinces we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think you need to count anymore, do you? I'm sure there's a way of looking at this. Um, I forget how you do this now. You click on it. No, that's the gold. That's telling you the income you're getting from the provinces. 
Oh, well, anyway. It's been a while since I've uh, made an effort to explore the new uh, user interface in Dominions. Let's get up. Okay, how many of the Equitates have we got here? Equitates the Sacred Child. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Seven, eight. It's probably enough. Um, we'll get one of those guys. And we'll start with a... We'll get another Bishop of the Sacred Shroud. Um, or do I want an Augur? Maybe just go for an Augur. Um, and next... It's going to be six, seven, eight... Yeah, sorry, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that would be enough. Um, we'll just get a bunch of... Let's get some more levees just to replace the ones that we lost. Okay. Oh, we can also start building the uh, the Pontifex or the Flamen. The Pontifex is uh, holy too. The Flamen is probably what we want to be getting. The Flamen is he's got our access to, you know, water, earth, and nature basically. But I forget what these guys have got now. Yeah, we don't get any nature off those. Yeah, so it's water, earth, and nature comes from the Flamen. Okay. So we're going to start getting those up. Now they're going to take uh, two turns to get up because we don't have a fort here. But you cannot, you can't build them in the fort anyway. All right, that's it, I think, for this turn. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Let's end the turn. Okay. And I'm probably the Archbishop of the Sacred Shroud and one more mage have searched... Okay, yeah, there was just searching... Yeah, no sights. Uh, there was a battle in Belagor. Let's see how this went. Oh, man, look at that. Oh, they did fly in as well. Crazy. Okay. Ooh, that's going to hurt. Let's see what happens here. Now, once we're blessed up... Yeah, look at these guys. These are actually coming in. Oh, that's, those slingers actually did some work there. Now, are they running? No, no, they're just fighting. Interesting. Uh, Principes are moving forwards. Okay, the javelins are coming in now. Looks like we've lost some, probably lost some of these guys. But I think we're going to win that battle, just because we've got the sacreds. There's a couple of them off, did actually get off running around the back. Have we got... Oh yeah, they're summoning the air elemental, so... Ah, here we are, look. Yeah, we've got a crystal sorceress. And a bodyguard. Who she's... <laughs> She's made ethereal. Oh, she's got a crystal heart. Ah. Okay, so this gives you an extra life. It gives you luck. And it's cursed. Uh, this is interesting. So I'll, whichever command... If we win this battle, our commander's likely to... Oh, sorry. Oh. Sorry, guys. Mm. Something going on with the map scroll in here. Yeah, looks like we actually managed to do that. Okay. Principes are going to make short work of these Amazons, I think. Now, if you have a look at their statistics, look. They, they've they got decent attack and defense skill. They're actually really good. They've got high precision as well. Um, they don't have great morale, though. Um, and they're just sort of normal troops. And they've only got a dagger to attack with. So they're, they're, they're basically archers, but they've, they've got decent stats. Their strength's not great, though. So as you can see, the uh, Principes should be... They should tear through these. They're not really going to be able to get through the armor. And it looks like the mage just got caught. Now, there is an air elemental defeat, but it looks like we got it. There we go. Okay, let's see what we lost there. Okay, we lost four, uh, four, three equitates to the Sacred Shroud and uh, one lost their mount. Uh, we lost the Equality and we lost the Centurion as well. Okay, so at least we've got one commander here. Now he's probably... Oh no, it looks like they didn't get the Crystal Heart. Yeah, maybe it doesn't work like it does in Conquest for Leasing where you can... Like, when, you, when you take that, you actually steal it. <laughs> okay. Or maybe it goes into... Does it go into your magic? No, I don't think we found it. Because it would tell you if you found it. I can never remember which one is which. Okay, there we are. There's the magic item treasury. So No, we didn't pick it up. All right. 
this guy yeah we need to we need another centurion so or in fact i think we'll probably just go with a legatus legionis yeah let's get some more of these um cheap militia sorry these levees Uh, we've got an ex another expansion party here. I'm going to move these guys down this way. All right. Now, we've got the option, we've got the ability basically to put up these crystal precessors. Um, I think. Yeah. This has slowed us down a little bit. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this force here and then we're just going to, we'll get the cavalry here to one, two, three, four. How many have we got? 10 units. So they didn't, did they? Yeah, they lost a few troops, but not too many. We could, we could actually just take these guys as they are, leave the slingers and the, the levees. Yeah, I think that would work because I forget that this guy's, he's actually a really good leader. Uh, he can actually hold three three formations yeah something like this now rather than going rather than actually having these guys attack into Yeah, I'll probably just put these on a line like this. Let's give the, uh, we'll give the banner to the uh, Hastati so that boosts their morale. Could potentially just put the levees actually in there too. It's not going to hurt things, I don't think. And we should be able to take this with those guys because we've got the sacred units. Yeah, something like that. So they're, they're going to be on hold and attack rear. He's going to cast spells. Um, they probably are going to be, want to be a little bit further behind. Like that. And then these guys are going to just go on hold and fire. Uh, we've got a bunch of militia, archers and heavy infantry. The Principes really want to be taking on the heavy infantry if they can. Now it doesn't really matter if anything gets through the centre here because... Our commander is probably going to be keeping up with these guys. Yeah, I don't, I don't want him on attack. I'll have him on stay behind troops. Okay, that's that battle scripted. Uh, Lampronius, he's going to preach the teachings of God and just get our dominion strength up. Our dominion should be expanding pretty quick now. Um, Tarkon here is going to search for sites. Uh, Synthius here, he's going to move up in this direction. Keep sight searching. Ah, oh, we found Ulm. It's going to move over here into Frosted Peaks. Hmm. Yeah, decent sized map. All right. Move down uh, Titus here. Oh, no, I don't think he'll be able to cross. Yeah, we'll move into this province here. Let's see what's on this throne. Um, it looks like there's a river. I really, by the way, I don't know if, if you guys really use the in-game map generator, but the way that it generates maps is much better in this game. Uh, it, for a start, it, the rivers in it are really good. Actually, you ad, you actually have like rivers are more of an issue now because they they just they just seem to spread across the map longer. I don't know if that's just me noticing it now, but okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get those guys up there. Let's recruit. Yeah, we're gonna we'll have Finfag actually putting up the uh, the the fort here. Seeing if there's any have we got any provinces with decent indies? Not really. Uh, just the uh, just the Amazons. The Amazons are pretty good. These are actually these are these are good. These are really really good archers. So let's get some of those guys. We can cast flaming arrows as well. And I know I was saying that I wasn't going to just go heavily into fire magic, but I lied. <laughs> I love fire magic. It's the best. Okay. Research and conjuration is complete. So we're going for conjuration three next. Okay. 
All right, there was a battle in Pankatokotl's bounty. Let's check this battle out and see how this one went. Okay, this looks pretty simple. Quite a big line look. I don't know how effective it's going to be mixing the levees with the Hastati. I think probably not because the levees are going to move faster. You'll, as you'll see, watch. They're going, to, they're going to move forward and engage the enemy before. But they will be throwing their javelins. So the other guys are going to catch up. That's actually not a bad idea. I've never really considered doing that, mixing the two groups. There we go. Look at that. We actually routed them immediately. So they, they just took a whole bunch of javelins. Meanwhile, in the back, we've got the Ecotates of the Sacred Shroud jumping in, Blood Surge kicking off. Yeah, it looks like they, did, they didn't have a big army here. This is a simple battle. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we didn't lose a single troop there. Okay, and the construction of the Palisades and Bara is completed, so we've got the first level of the fort up. Now, we can start getting the Ermorian troops. Now, the uh, Legatus Legionis, this guy is going to be expensive, 120 gold per, t uh, per turn. So, I don't know if we want a lot of those. Ah, okay, we've got Marverni down here now too. Okay, we've got loads of gold. That's a lot of gold. Did I did I have a whole bunch left over from last turn? I think I did, didn't I? Okay, so in that case, Finfag here is going to put up... Let's just have a look at this province. Ah, oh, this has got a really high... Okay, actually, this is this is a better province here. So this is where we, de we definitely want to have our... Uh, palisades up here so that's going to be a thousand gold just putting the palisades up uh hired's here he's going to move into this i think yeah i'd say so yeah i reckon so um do i keep these guys together that's the next question we don't want to go to war with muspelheim i might leave that one yeah mind you that's sad Yeah, Muspelheim are likely to attack us if we take that, I think. Let's go down and grab this. This is a deer tribe. I think with deer tribe we can use pretty much the same tactics, I'd say. I reckon that'd be fine. Let's start. Uh, we are going to get some casualties. So we can anticipate this. Uh, we will get another banner bearer up because we've got a couple of... Let's get another... I think we'll get another centurion. We can get that out in a small fort in one turn. And how many... These guys are really good, by the way, look. Oh, he's crippled. Okay, we don't want to move a crippled troop. Uh, we can just keep him there. And we might be able to heal him later. Yeah, he's actually... Yeah, he's uh, he's got experience, so he's probably worth trying to save. This is why I was thinking about getting another... Well, one of these guys, the, you know, the Bishop of the Sacred Shroud... Okay, yeah, Hyatt's going to move this way. Uh, we need to set them some battle orders. Uh, so we're going to hold an attack. Hold on. Sorry, let's hold on fire. Hold an attack. Yeah, he's going to put him on cast spells. I reckon we can kill those uh, woodsmen. Unless there's a whole lot of them. If there's like loads and loads of them, it might be a little bit more difficult. Okay. He's going to build a palisade. I would like to quite quickly... Oh, look, we've got a level 2 Flamen. Okay. that's You could do something with that. Like, you, he can cast Phoenix Power. So, let's send him down there. Um, Tarkon can move... We're probably more likely to get the Death Sight here. Still, I think I'm just going to do it methodically. I'll send him up this way. And Pronius is just definitely going to be doing the same thing. Uh, you want to you want to site search with these as well, especially when you've got a high level um, a high level priest. Um, I might send Aceus here down to Bara just so we can start getting a attempt. Uh, we so we can start getting a lab up there, and we're going to create. We can start building the fortress to get Bara up to a level two fortress. 
Okay. Yeah, he doesn't need to search here because uh, we're we're gonna we're actually gonna have Tarkon here, and he's got the same paths essentially and better. Okay, so Ulm has m bumped into Musfulheim here. Let's see if we can find where Ulm is. And that's it, guys. Now uh, we also want to recruit some troops here. Let's get some Triarii. Oh, they're really slow though that's the only problem with those guys i think i probably want something a bit quicker now looks like muspelheim is is that dominion cold yeah it looks like it but like they got cold dominion interesting so the lizard warriors ain't going to be much good I'm trying to remember what the difference is between these guys and the Hastati. The Hastati got better defense. They got better weapon. They got the same equipment. Yeah, it looks like the same equipment. Yeah, these are just more. But the Hastatis have just got more. They're they're basically more expensive. We can still get a fair amount of them. Okay. Okay, uh, we lost a crippled unit. Uh, there was a battle in Witch's Cops. Let's have a look at this one. What have we got here? All right, we just got two fairly big groups of unorganized barbarians. Wolf, tri uh, not wolf tribe, sorry. These are deer tribe. Uh, deer tribe are the ones with, they got spears and javelins. And they have sword, they have, they got archers as well. Yeah, dagger and short bow. Yeah, these are pretty good. They're not as good as the wolf tribe. It's the wolf tribe that are the really dangerous ones. Yeah, we're we're going to outdo these guys in a javelin throwing match, I think. Okay, we're just jumping around the back. These guys are going to mop up at the back here. They are animating trees to attack us. That's pretty funny. Now, what have they got here at the back? Deer tried shaman. Uh, he's a nature mage one. And he's asleep because he's been casting too many spells. Waking up trees and sending them at his foes. Okay, there we go. Easy. Easy job. We lost an equitate with sacred shroud. Okay, that's a shame. And um, we lost a levee. That's it. Uh, we killed... Well, we we took on 80 troops. Killed 36 of them. The rest of them ran. There was a battle in uh, Surim Clever. Now, we are fighting in... We're going to be fighting in Swamp here, so you do get a penalty. Yeah, Swamp penalty minus one, so it's minus one to attack and defense and probably combat speed. Yeah, 20, minus 20% 20 to combat speed. These guys are the Woodsmen. Dagger and Shortbow. Yeah, really, really low morale, look. Uh, these ones have got the Blowpipe. Okay, the blowpipe's got paralyzing poison. That's interesting. So yeah, we've got to be a bit careful with those. I think these troops should be able to deal with this battle. We've got enough of them that... Yeah, and one of them's going to stand there throwing as well. Uh, firing. Yeah, look at the par paralyzing poisons kicking in there, I think. Ooh, lost a lot of the horses. So the horses actually took a lot of damage here. These guys are going to be fighting on foot in the swamp now. Yeah, we've got a horse left over. Yeah, these are... Yeah, they got, they're got asleep because they got hit with the blowpipes. That's, that's absolutely hilarious. Okay, these guys are going to be mostly dismounted now. So nine equitates to the Sacred Child. We lost two, four were unhorsed. Okay, but at least we... Okay, three units who have lost their mounts have deserted or died on the way. Okay, that's a shame. But this isn't a bad little province. In fact, let's just go through, make sure that we putting enough province defense. You want six. There we are, okay. Uh, right, so those guys, they are, that, they, that expansion party did not last long at all. Yeah, that was a tougher battle than I realized. <laughs> that was because of those blowpipes, the, uh, the, the blowpipe poison. 
okay search for magic sites tarkon this guy is going to search for magic sites here okay disp uh disparta disparta is our legatus legionis he's going to be our mainly uh, our main general i think let's get the levees with their own standards so they're they're going to get more morale um I'm going to Prinkpe here. Let's have him as a, have him a guarding commander. So this guy can actually have four units, I believe. Yeah, he can he can take four units. See, this is he can have like a full Amorian force. They could have like a load of Leves. You could have the Hastati, the Prinkpe's, and then the Triarii, which I'm kind of tempted to do just for fun. Uh, I don't I don't know like in terms of Dominions, I don't know whether that's going to be a particularly effective strategy or not. I suspect not, <laughs> but you know. There's probably better army compositions you could come up with, you know, if you're just playing, if you're playing to min max. Okay. Oh, right, we are surrounded now. We are surrounded by. Oh no, we're not. We've got. Yeah, here's Muspelheim. He's gone really far down. He's got like a really long empire here, um, but he's yeah. We can beat this guy pretty easily, I think. I think we can beat him. Now there's Garners and Pistachios here. This probably means there's a death site in Grey Forest, but we do want to take that. Let's go and grab that now. Uh, I'm just going to put a little bit more PD up here, just so just to discourage Muspelheim from trying to attack us. Uh, Conicus. Okay, let's start recruiting. Um, I don't think mermen are that good. Yeah, okay, they're a poor amphibian. They live in shallow waters along the coastlines and sometimes build villages on land. Okay, so this this basically means they they can fight underwater, but they uh, they are hampered. They have minus one attack, minus two defense. So they're going to be crap basically underwater. But we at least we do have some you know we have some way of getting across water now. Um. I think in this case, let's just get an assassin. Um, we'll start building some assassins up because these guys are pretty useful. Or we could get some more scouts. Yeah, let's get a scout first. And... Uh, let's get some more Hastati. Uh, we'll, just, we'll just basically replenish the troops that we got here. So... Let's get a Prinkpe up and some Astartus. Oh, we can get plenty of those guys. All right. He can go on patrol. Flamen can... No, we, he wants to construct a lab. He can actually make the temple next turn too. Okay, Dispatter here. Okay, he's going to stay behind troops. Uh, how long until we've got Conjuration 3? Quite a long time. Because we do not have that many troops uh, researching at the moment. So let's go, let's get some more augers. Try and get some more augers out just so we can get our research up. Uh, we want to replace some more of these guys. Yep, that looks good. Okay. All right, folks. Let's just watch the battle. Uh, we found a magic site in Faircliff. Caverns of Glowing Moss. Oh, look at that. So that's fire. Okay, I've not seen that one before. We've got a fire site here. Um, Tarchon, the, uh, the... What's this guy called? He's an Augur Elder. That, of course, he is. Okay. Sinkus is going to move back this way. How come we can cross that river? I wonder if it's because we're basically going like that. I think that's probably likely what's happening there. We're moving across those plains. Uh, here we go. We've got Augustus the Flamen. Now, this guy's got nature magic. So I'm going to get him auto sight searching after this round. Yeah, uh, Lampronius is going to carry on preaching. I might... Should we get him down this way? Yeah, I think I will. Rather than preaching up here, um, he's going to... He's not going to be preaching for longer there anyway i think we're going to get this guy down to bara and then we'll start preaching down here we'll put a temple up and then we're going to start see if we can push back on musfulheim 
Okay. Ankus is going to start researching. Yeah, we've only got 36 research per turn, so uh, it's, we need to get some more research up. Yeah, I do want to go for, I think I am going to go for, uh, I'm going to rush for Conjuration 3 just so that we, that we can actually spend some of these gems and uh, start using some fire elementals. Uh, let's get another... Now, these guys are capital only, so we probably want to get more of these Augur Elders. Let's start getting him out. This dude can build a temple, and then in a, in a couple of turns, probably one turn, I think. Let me just see. Yeah, sorry, three months. So in three months, we're going to have a Palisade up at Belagor. Uh, so we're going to have three forts then. Let's send this scout out this way. But we've got an army here on our, on our borders. A bit worrying. Let's just uh, increase the size of our uh, garrison of our of our province defense. Uh, we'll get some more Hastatis up. Starty. Uh, okay. We'll just keep those guys there for the time being. Thaos. Did we watch the battle? I don't think we did. Okay, these are yeah, these are just these are monkey undead. So we've got the Ghana here. Uh, these are ethereal troops. These are these are actually kind of annoying because because they're ethereal, they've got good defense as well. So they they basically stick around. Interestingly enough, though, they are not full undead. Well, they are undead, but they're not mindless. So you can actually make them rout, which is kind of interesting. Um, same with the pistachio here as well. These are these are pretty cool when you're using them as Lanka or someone. Yeah, I think it's Lanka that gets them. Okay, here we go. This is going to be... We're going to probably lose quite a lot of troops here, just because these undead troops are pretty strong. Okay. Uh, our priest is catching us, casting ashes to ashes, which is uh, an undead damaging spell. Yeah, these guys are not doing well against these Garners. Uh, but fortunately, it's the Principes fighting them. Yeah, the morale's slightly down because we're in hostile dominion. Yeah, we don't have magic weapons, so ethereal units are quite difficult for us to kill. Look at these pistachios, they're on fire, look. These are great, by the way. If you if you if they die in a battle, um, I think that they get another they get another body. Basically, I think that's the one. Uh, no, no, these were, these are just the zombies. I'm thinking of something else. There's a really cool summonable unit in. I think it's either Lanka or it might be Yomi that has a kind of body that regenerates. Anyway. We lost three. Equ oh wow, we did lose some equites to the sacred shroud there. Four hostatus and three levies. The prinkpays stood though. They like these are really really good. These these troops are really really good. Yeah, we've got one that's got a chest wound. But let's just look at these guys. Yeah, look, they're they're actually starting to get more experience. Uh, look, the experience they're getting. They've got eighteen defense skill. <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, even the levee are going to get better with experience, but yeah, the Hastatis look are also getting um, experience bonus, 17 defense. If they had better protection, these these would be like really, really, these are like almost like sacred level troops. When we can start doing, you know, we've got a little bit of access to earth magic. We can start buffing our troops in a big way. And yeah, I'm actually going to put a little bit more province defense up in, in these areas around Muspelheim, I think, uh, just so... Yeah, just so we, we're kind of dissuading them from attacking us. The AI will, will be less likely to attack you, I think, if if you uh, have province defense. Sorry, guys, I'm, my brain's starting to fog. Um, all right. Yeah, we don't have much money left because we're basically building loads of stuff this turn. I might bring Disparta down here now. No, I don't know if we need him yet, actually. We'll just keep him there patrolling. Okay, there's Ulm. Let's go and see if we can see what we can see on Ulm or in Ulm. 
we're moving to no we're moving to glimmering fields here okay we're starting to i think we've we look you know we've we've got our eyes on most of the map i think now much of the map anyway now we could try to take these deer tribe but that's a lot of deer tribe and i don't think we can get through there anyway let's i think what we'll do is for the time being we're going to move back to bara we'll start re re uh, replenishing some troops so we need Hestatus and yeah, we're actually building a bunch of Hestatus here. Uh, do I want another Augur Elder? Maybe we just go with the Augur and then we get some troops up too. There we are. Okay. I think we're good to go. Right, guys, uh, I'm going to end the turn and I'm going to end the episode. So I will catch you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed Dominions. See you next time. Take care.